The key equations in kinematic equations are the three seen here. V equals u plus at, s equals ut plus a half at squared, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. You might be thinking, that's a lot of letters and you don't really know what any of them mean. Well, we can quickly define them. So s, as you can see here or here, is the displacement. And this is going to be measured in meters. The important thing to remember is displacement is different to distance. An easy way to remember this is if you had a running track. So let's say this is a 100 meters running track. And you run, if this is the start line, you run from this end to this end and then back. Well, you would say you've ran 200 meters, 100 meters there, 100 meters back. So your distance traveled will be 200 meters. However, your displacement will be zero because you're back where you started. So effectively, it's a measure of how far away from where you started you are. So next, you've got u, which is the initial velocity. This is in meters per second. And you can see that here, here, and here. So this is just, you always examine these equations over a given time period. This is the, the velocity at t equals zero. V is the final velocity. I'm sure you can guess what this one is. Well, this is just the velocity at the end of the time period. So say you're analyzing a particle over a period of 10 seconds, then this is at t equals 10. Again, measured in meters per second because it's a velocity. You can see that in this equation and this equation here. Next, A, which is acceleration. How fast something changes velocity. This is measured in meters per second squared. T, which is just time, nice and easy. The SI unit for that is in seconds because you'll notice this is meters per second, this is meters per second squared, this is meters per second, and so on. You'll need, to, you'll usually be given three or four of the values here. So you'll notice there's five different values you'll most likely be given three and expected to find a fourth. Occasionally, you'll be given four and expected to find the fifth. You need to be able to substitute these into these equations and rearrange or solve to find the missing variables. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic test on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done in a written solution format that explains all the formulas used and then talks you through exactly step by step for the problem.